Imagine, trees could be growing on degraded land. Imagine, desertification could be stopped. Hundreds of millions would not have to leave their homes. Imagine, all that is needed is still there, right beneath our feet. Imagine, a whole underground forest is waiting to emerge again. Desertification is advancing at an alarming pace. People have given up. They feel like helpless victims of climate change and poverty, whose only option seems to be migration. But there is hope. Australian agronomist and alternative Nobel Prize winner Tony Renaudo discovered a simple technique, making global regreening possible. What looks like small shrubs and bushes are actually trees, waiting for the opportunity to grow, feeding on the enormous root system that is still intact. The pruning consists in reducing the number of stems so that they can grow straight and tall. It's embarrassingly simple. You know, people are expecting some big scientific explanation and complex machinery and all this kind of thing. It's embarrassingly simple, but I'm not ashamed because it works. The farmers manage the pruning themselves. Every two months, every two months we we'll, we'll do the pruning. Word is spreading fast from Senegal to Somalia. In Niger alone, six million hectares of forest have already been restored. You can visibly see the difference. 7% of the Earth's surface could become green again. Two to three billion hectares of land, producing wood and food for hundreds of millions. And more importantly, giving people back their dignity. But what I really see when I go back into the villages is the restoration of hope. And when you have hope, you can do anything. You believe in yourself, you believe in the future. The restoration of hope is the real gift. Imagine, we could spread this message around the globe and achieve restoration on an unprecedented scale. I firmly believe that with the right production methods, Africa could easily feed the world.